All right, now you guys have been asking me about battery saving tips for your Galaxy phones. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at some very useful tips and tricks to conserve battery or to save battery on your Galaxy phones. Most of the pro users would know this, but if you want to know about it, keep watching the video. First, let's start with the basics. It's always better to use the phone in dark mode. The screen is the one which consumes maximum amount of battery. So make sure you always turn on the dark mode on your phone, which saves some amount of battery. And to do that, just go to the display settings and here just select the dark mode instead of light mode. And make sure you turn on the adaptive brightness and motion smoothness, adaptive actually looks really cool, but that also consumes a lot of battery because it runs on 120 Hertz refresh rate. So if you're okay with standard refresh rate, then go ahead and select the standard refresh rate. I understand that is something which most of us don't prefer, but if you are in a situation where you want to save battery, go ahead and select standard motion smoothness mode. And then as far as the display is concerned, we have got screen mode for some of the latest Galaxy phones where you can select vivid or natural. If you select vivid, of course, the screen will be slightly vibrant with a lot of colors. So you can always keep it natural. Uh, but if you don't want to keep it natural, just go to advanced settings and select the vividness profile, select it to minimum, or you can place it at the center. Maybe a tiny bit of battery could be conserved here. And of course, the screen timeout, if you have set the screen timeout to maximum, just reduce it to 15 seconds or so, that will also conserve some battery. And then comes the always on display. Now that is also going to consume a lot of battery on your phone. Make sure you turn off completely. I don't even use always on display. And if you're someone who want to uh, use always on display, just set it to tap to show. And the always on display can be adjusted on lock screen settings. You can see lock screen and AOD. Here tap on always on display and select when to show. You can just select tap to show here. If the phone is locked, you can just tap once on the screen to show the always on display. That is going to save some battery for sure. Or you can also select just for new notifications. Whenever you get a new notification, the always on display will turn on. Always on display is one of the major culprits when it comes to uh, consuming battery. So go ahead and change the settings here. Next, whether it is on lock screen or on home screen, try to set the dark mode wallpapers with a lot of dark elements instead of going for a bright wallpaper. And if you want to find some cool dark AMOLED wallpapers, you can go ahead and download our wallpaper application Wallverse. We've got some fantastic, cool looking dark mode wallpapers on the application. The app is free to download. We have got both free and premium versions. And in collections, we have got a collection called AMOLED where you will find some very beautiful looking dark wallpapers as you can see here. You can set these wallpapers or you can also check out the collections here on the top where we have got dark collections. Again, you can check out some cool looking dark wallpapers here. This will definitely help conserve some batteries. So go ahead, check out Volvo's application. The link is in the description. And while you download it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Android phones, Galaxy watches, etc. And do not forget to hit that like button as well. Now let's go ahead. The next important thing to do is if you've got any unused accounts, maybe Gmail accounts, or any other accounts, just remove it if you're not using it. Because that will consume some battery, there will be constant data sync which will happen on the device. So if you have multiple accounts and if you're not using them, just go ahead and remove the unwanted ones. Next, you need to go to the settings, tap on connections and scroll down and tap on more connection settings. Here, you will see nearby device scanning. Just disable this because this will always constantly look for the devices around you. It will keep scanning. As you can see, it says your phone will scan for devices nearby and let you connect to them in a pop-up or in the notification panel. So this will constantly look for the devices around you. So go ahead and just disable nearby device scanning on your phone. The next thing to do is just remove the unwanted applications on your device. I'm sure most of you guys have got loads of applications installed on the phone and you may not be using all of them. If there are unnecessary applications, just go ahead and uninstall them. Next, if you do not want to uninstall a specific application and if you're on One UI 7 Android 15, then we have got a feature called App Archive, which will archive the application, remove some data from the app and that app will stop running in the background. Let me show you how to do that. Just press and hold on the app icon, tap on the eye icon. At the bottom, you will see archive option. Just tap on archive. Now the application will be archived. As you can see uh, on the home screen, this application icon is blurred out and it shows a download icon here. 
Uh, this means that we can go ahead and download this application from Play Store, but it retains all the login information and some of the data within the application so that when you download this, you don't really have to log in again. All your login credentials will be retained. So you can go ahead and uh, archive all those applications which you don't use. And whenever you want to use it, just tap on the icon. You will see this pop up restore local sent from Google Play Store. I will just tap on restore and it just uh, downloads this application and restores this in a jiffy. There we go. We have got the application and I don't really have to log into the app again. Next important thing to do is turn off the notifications for applications from which you do not want to see the notification. And to do that, all you need to do is just tap on settings, tap on notification settings, tap on app notifications. You will see the entire list of applications for which the uh, notifications are enabled. You can go ahead and disable those applications from which you do not need the notifications. The reason you need to do this is the applications will constantly look for notifications. They will keep syncing the data. They will always be connected to the internet and they will keep bombarding notifications on the notification panel which will light up the phone as well. So turn off all those notifications which you don't really need. The next thing to do is go to the settings tap on battery and uh, tap on power saving. Now here, tap on this three dot button on the top right corner. We've got adaptive power saving option. Just tap on that and turn on the adaptive power saving. What this will do is it will turn power saving on and off automatically based on your usage pattern. If you're not constantly using your phone, it will turn on the power saving mode and if you are using your phone, it will turn off the power saving mode. This is a very advanced feature that we have and it's kind of hidden. You need to go ahead and enable this to save some battery. And then of course the power saving mode itself, if you're running out of juice, you need to go ahead and turn on the power saving mode. And on One UI 7, now we have got an option to enable 120 Hertz display even when you are on power saving mode, which is fantastic. You can adjust all those options here under power saving mode toggles and just turn on the power saving mode. That's a great option that we have. Next, if you see a lot of battery drain on your phone, what you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on battery and tap on the statistics option here. Now this will show you which applications are consuming battery. As you can see, I have got One UI Home, one hour, four minutes, which is 3.5%, Galaxy Watch 7 Manager, 2.3%, Google Play Services, 1.8%, and rest of the applications here. If there is any abnormal battery consumption by a specific application that will show up right here on the top, you can go ahead and put it into sleep mode or you can uninstall it if you don't need it. So the first thing you need to check is the list of applications under screen on time option Option, which will show you which applications are consuming maximum amount of battery. Now the next best feature that we have on Galaxy phones to conserve the battery is light performance mode. To enable it, go to the settings, tap on device care and here tap on performance profile. We get two performance profiles, standard and light. Standard provides the recommended balance between processing speed, battery life and cooling efficiency. Light performance prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed. Now, if you are a normal user, I don't think you need the standard profile. You can always go ahead and select the light profile. Even if you are a heavy user, I don't think you will notice any major performance drop when you're on light performance mode. Only while gaming, maybe you can set it to standard, but otherwise you can always set it to light performance mode, which conserves a lot of battery. Maybe at least about 45 minutes to one hour of extra screen on time that you will get if you use light performance mode. The next advanced feature to conserve battery is using modes and routines on the Galaxy phones. To do that, go to the settings, tap on modes and routines. Now this feature will automate your phone to change the settings. Now here, what you need to do is just go to routines and tap on plus button to add a new routine. Here, select the if condition. Let's say while sleeping, I will select a specific time. I'm sleeping at maybe 11 p.m. or let's say 10.30 p.m. I'll just tap on done. And I'll add another condition. I will add wake up time. It will automatically rec recognize the wake up time when you uh, take the phone in the hand in the morning. And then you select the then condition. Just tap on then condition. Now here you can set various different options. Let's say I want to turn off Wi-Fi when I sleep. I'll select Wi-Fi and turn it off. Then maybe I will add light performance profile. I'll select performance profile to light, done. And then let's say I want to turn off the location services. I will select location and uh, turn off. Likewise, you can select whichever condition you want to save some battery and save this routine. I'll just tap on save and uh, name this routine, specific time, done. 
Now this will automatically turn on during the night. It will turn off your Wi-Fi. It will turn off the location and whatever conditions that you have set. In turn, saving some battery while you sleep. So you can create different conditions here to save, uh, save the battery. Uh, I will probably have to make a separate video for this. So stay tuned. I will soon make a video on modes and routines. But yeah, this is something which you can use to save some battery on your Galaxy phone. The next thing is whenever you travel, you notice that the battery consumption is higher. That is mainly because of the network fluctuations. So if you're looking at just one or two network bars on the status bar here, then the network will be low and your phone will look for the network to get a better strength of network and it will keep trying constantly to look for better strength. That is going to consume a lot of battery. So when you're traveling, it is normal to see battery drain on your device. And if you are at home and your network is bad there, if the network uh, strength is poor, then also you will see a lot of battery drain. In those cases, you can't really do much about it. I'm just giving you a heads up, just in case if you are seeing battery drain where uh, while traveling or at home where the network strength and network coverage is low, then you will see battery drain. Now, anyways, these are some of the tips which I wanted to share with you guys. If you have any additional tips, do share it in the comment section. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I keep posting these tips and tricks, update related videos, new features, etc. You get to learn a lot about your device. So go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.